Hey guys, today I am coming to you from my classroom where I'm teaching a class here at the Portland Bible College in Portland, Oregon. And this class happens to be called Introduction to Missions. It's about 25 minutes before class and so I thought I would get a, a vlog going here. So today guys, I'm, I'm going to come to you with, with one of my favorite scriptures in the whole Bible. It is 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 4 verses 17 and 18. It's an awesome scripture. It starts out saying this, For our present troubles are small, and they won't last very long. Now, already we've lost a lot of people because they're saying, Hey, Steve, you have no idea what my trouble is. My trouble is big. My trouble has lasted longer than a year. Some people, my trouble has lasted longer than an hour. They already think it's really big if it's lasted longer than an hour. And some people listening to this vlog right now, you've had troubles that have literally lasted 20 years or even 30 years. Some of you right now, you're sitting beside someone who is your trouble. And, uh, uh, you know, oftentimes our relationships can be troublesome and they can last literally a lifetime. Uh, but I want you guys to understand the Word of God says, and you have to believe what the Word of God says, your troubles are small. Go ahead and say that with me right now. My troubles are are small. My troubles are tiny, okay? And you have to believe that. Well, you know, even if a trouble that you have in this life lasts for the bulk of a lifetime, I want you guys to know something. Your life is a vapor. My life is a mist. Our lives are nothing compared to eternity. My mother used to say it, uh, and I say it all the time. This life is a dressing room for eternity. That's all that it is. Uh, and of course, the dressing room experience is supposed to be great, and we are supposed to flourish, and we are supposed to succeed, and God has called us to fruitfulness. But the bottom line is this is just a preparation for eternity. It goes on to say here, uh, second part of, of verse uh, 17, our present troubles are small, they won't last very long, yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. Now, the question is, what are they? They are your troubles. And so it says here that your troubles actually produce something for you. They produce for you and in you a glory that will outlast them, outlast those troubles. Uh, I want you guys to know something. You need your troubles. I need my troubles. If I'm going to have the glory of God show up in my life, I need those troubles and I need to overcome the world in those troubles in order to become the man that God has called me to be, okay? And and so it says here that when uh, these troubles come into your life, they produce a glory that outlasts them, and those uh, that glory lasts literally forever. Well, how does glory last forever? Guys, everything that you do in this life translates into a reward in heaven, or I should rather say everything that you do for the Lord in this life, every positive thing that you accomplish in this life, it produces glory that becomes an eternal reward. It lasts forever. And so a lot of times, guys, when, when I see trouble coming my way, I have to say, okay, there's another opportunity. There's another opportunity for eternal reward, for eternal blessing. Now, verse 18 says this, so we don't look at the troubles we can see now. Wow, okay, so how do you, you know, get glory from troubles? Stop looking at them directly. Of course, you, you have to deal with those things, but stop focusing on those things. We don't look at the troubles we can see now. Rather, we fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen. Well, that's an interesting thing right there. Have you ever had somebody look at you, but then you go like this to them, and, you know, and, and they don't respond because they're not really looking at you. They're looking through you or beyond you, or they're thinking of something else. Uh, guys, I want to be that way with my troubles. I see them, you know, uh, but I'm 
focusing my gaze. I'm staring at eternity. I'm staring at the kingdom of God. I'm staring at those things that cannot be seen. And, and guys, you know what happens when you stare, when you gaze at something intently? Your peripheral turns off. Uh, you're not so distracted. You're more focused on those things that really, really count in life. So guys, my encouragement to you today is stop looking at your troubles. Stop glorifying your troubles. Stop glorifying the work of the enemy or the work of the world in your life. Look at those things as opportunities. Stare at what cannot be seen. Those positive, eternal things. Look to the cross of Jesus Christ. Cling to the cross of Jesus Christ. Know in your heart, know in your mind, know in your spirit that everything is going to be all right because God is working all things out for the good of those who love him and who are called according to his purpose. So I don't stare at my troubles. I stare at those things that cannot be seen. Guys, I'm, I'm Steve McKinney. I'm a missionary that uh, serves primarily in the Philippines, although sometimes I'm here in Portland, Oregon. Uh, and uh, I'm a pastor of an awesome church over there. Uh, guys, if you're blessed uh, by these videos, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, go ahead and like them. And uh, you'll be sure to get these uh, as we go. God bless you.